Hi guys! I'm so excited to be able to share my minivan turned camper van, Chris, with you. It's getting a little dark. It's been a really great day today anyway, but it's getting a little dark and um, people are starting to gather out here, but that's okay. I'm going to show you Chris and how I have her set up. Um, and I, I want you to come along. I want you to see. So, come on. passenger side and when we first come in you'll see a cat litter because right here is where I sit when I first enter the van so I can take off my shoes um, and if I want to have a place to sit and not be on the bed but this little storage has a secret it is also my potty so I decided to go with the bucket system there are a number of choices for portable potties and um, I just didn't want anything that got me too involved I just wanted to be able to handle my business and get rid of it uh, with some of the um, portable potties you know they are flushable you put water in them you can flush them but that's just uh, a little more involved than I want to be because you have to take it apart and then take it somewhere to dump whereas this I just um, take a regular five gallon bucket that I had gotten from the Lowe's and you just pop the top and here there's nothing in here, you guys. I always get scared when people show me their system, right? <laughs> but what you do is I have some really strong um, bags, right? And I just I just line the bottom, and then I put a little of the cat litter in the bottom so that it eliminates all smells. And then I put the seat back on top, and I put it back in here. And whenever I have to go... Um, and take care of my business I do that and when it's time to um, get rid of it I just pick up the bag and toss it in the trash wherever I am so and that's really good and and this actually kind of hides it but not only does it hide it it also it allows for me so not only does it hide it but it allows me that once I hop in the van I actually have a place to sit and then I can immediately take off my shoes so this is my bed and um, I have my throw if I just want to be sitting up and have something over my lap and then I have my body pillow if I want to just be sitting up and um, back there is my regular pillow now on my bed I have um, this is actually a sleeping bag that I was gifted and um, I use it like a comforter I just unzip it all the way and use it like a comforter and so because it's still cold I got me some flannel sheets Ooh, put on my bed and uh, yeah so here I have my 24 inch screen 
to get that out. My 24 inch, uh, it's a monitor and uh, I'll show you how I hook it up in a moment. And it really doesn't use a lot of electricity. So when I wanna watch a good movie, I have my monitor stand and I hook up my monitor. And look, this thing, I tested it at, in, at, at the house. It only uses like 20 to 21 um, watts per hour. So um, that's awesome. When I figured that out, I was like, oh, you're going on the road with me. So this is what I do. <clears throat> when I'm done with it, I just face it toward the bed because it's really soft and it'll protect the screen. But to simply cover it, make it incognito, I just pull my throw over it and keep it moving, people. Then I take this and I just store it behind there. So, underneath my bed, I have a few things stored. There's a lot of stuff underneath the bed. So, I'm going to flip that out. I have my container here. And I got quite a bit of stuff stored in here. Just stuff I need or may need. So, I have like my power cord. And I have my tools. That's my drill. My drill bits. Um, these are the cords for my solar panel, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is uh, power cards for my power supply. Then I have a solar shower, uh, which I haven't used as of yet. Uh, it's still winter, so oftentimes what I'll do is just sort of, um, you know, wash off in the van, but it's here. If I, if I end up somewhere warm, um, I got a little twine, right? Um, and I want to put this back in neatly so it'll store it neatly. And then this is my washing stuff. I got my, um, you know, my dryer sheets and my, um, my detergent, you know, I'm out and about and I got to wash my clothes. And then I have a little sewing kit and hand warmers, feet warmers, body warmers, okay. And I have my jumper cables, you know, bungee cards, just stuff that I might need. Um, this is my cover, I don't know if you can see this, um, for the front window, um, yeah just a bunch of little stuff that I might need so I tuck this away I want to make sure it snaps because if it doesn't snap that means I need to rearrange something so slide that back under there so I'm gonna move this down a little bit. There's nothing in it. Also, I have under here my two burner stove, which I have yet to use. I've just been like eating turkey sandwiches or something really simple. I haven't really cooked cooked. Now, mind you, I'm not full-time van life. I'm what you call anytime van life. Anytime I want a van life, then I van life. <laughs> so, but I'm going to use it. That's why I bought it. But I just store it away under there until, um, yeah. So, I, I, you know what? This cat litter, I bought it when I was on the road. And I wouldn't have never bought a box like this. I really would have... Um, made my life easier and maybe gotten a um, you know one of the jugs but I'm gonna buy a jug and put that in just so 
it could be out the way because I really like to put my shoes here on the ledge at night when I take them off so yeah so that's that also let's see if we could get under here I have my these are my shades that I made for the window there is some you can see over there and that one right there can you see that I I never take those out first of all the window is funny okay and the back has really really odd shape toward that little back part and it's because of the motors that sit on the window back there they don't work but they're there and you know hopefully one day I'll get those replaced and I'll be able to um, open those back windows because you can't open them ma uh, manually you you have to open them um, power with the motors and I mean Chris is old y'all honey she she is she, she turned 20 this year so yeah um, she needed a little bit okay Come on. as we all do when we get older huh? we need a little bit more help okay um so <clears throat> under here I have my can you see this this is my pop-up shower that's my pop-up shower just unzip it pops up looks like a little triangle and that's for um, if I'm camping somewhere and I want to have my potty outside of the van and also for my shower and it just gives me that privacy and I also have under here my solar panel right so it's a hundred watt um, solar panel in a case and honestly I haven't used it like um, my my portable power battery which I'll show you in a minute um, I usually drive enough during the day um, where it recharges 100% it really um, I've never allowed it to go all the way down uh, while um, I've been out so it, it doesn't take all day to recharge but I have it just in case now like a day like today it's extremely gloomy like there is like no sunshine to be found okay do you see that just clouds and trees honey clouds and trees so anyway it's here if I need it which is which is why I bought it right for it to be here when I need it now I gotta tell you um, let me put this back now at night of course I'll put in all of my solar panels I have for the two windows here the, the two side windows that window where you see my coat and this window that slid back and of course the back window so I have um, these for that when it's time I put them in um now I'm going to tell you the best part of see what I've done is I've set <laughs> um, in the van on the um, on the storage ottoman I love it because I can take off my shoes and stuff but so from the bed um, I like have all this empty space right all this empty space and I absolutely love it I usually just sit this um, sack up here it fell but you know it's usually sitting up there but in this sack is um, all of my toiletries my bath towels my 
bath towels. I had my, this is face. This is brushing my teeth. This is body, you know, soap. Might need to shave something. You know, deodorant, moisturizer. Then I have hair, which um, for the hair, you know, I have my brush and my comb, and I have a um, mini curling iron. Well, actually, flat iron. Um, girl stuff. Everything that makes me a woman. Um you know um <clears throat> my wipes um i have tissue in the van but i prefer wipes a girl got to keep clean honey yes so that's all my stuff and and everything in the bag like if i need to go to a truck truck stop or somewhere to take a shower then i just have to grab my bag cuz everything i need to take care of myself is in that bag so that's really good so here um, I usually put my wipes for the potty in there keep some wipes because I like to have a clean bottom uh, I keep them in there and I'll keep the tissue in there even though I don't really use it but you know hey maybe I need to blow my nose one day um and then my curtains my for my blackout curtains I have this twine on the curtains because I added this flap because as you can see I got this rod that goes all the way across and how the rod is being held up I don't know if you can see this can you see that if I could get it to focus well what that is is it's actually part of a, a, a keychain you know how you have the little you might get a key and you get an extra key and it's really really thin right and um, so I just took it and bent it to what I needed to be to hold my curtain rod but I added these little flaps on my curtains so when I'm closing off the um the front at night like of course it didn't go to the ceiling so i added these flaps so that i could um close it off even more up tight up top but i gotta add some more velcro right so that my seal is tight but you know that's why it's there it's some funky handiwork but you know what It'll do what I needed to do. Make it do what it do, baby. So, yeah. And just the thought of this flap, it has such a traditional feel that it just drove me, yeah. So, I, I had to twine it because I I don't like looking at it. How about that? Aesthetics, that's all. Aesthetics. So, um, with it being a minivan, there's all kinds of little compartments and little things so like this is a storage compartment and I don't know if you can see in here but I have um, in fact let's use the light how about that we'll use my lantern and we'll just whoa let there be light right so in here I have like power cords um, you know if I like my laptop and um, a USB for my other light and just things that I'll need to have access to often so I put them in there then of course we have the cup holders here um, my disinfectant this moves because it could be in the back or it could be in the front but then on the other side of the van I have cup holders here so when I'm relaxing at night I can have um, 
um, something to drink back there. Then there's storage in here, which I probably need to turn on this light. My Lucy light. Let's see. And this has actually bright, bright, and brighter. Okay, bright, bright, and brighter. So yeah, so, you know, storage over there. I can put my reading glasses in there. So yeah, and when I'm done with them at night, I can put them in there or I can sit them in here. You know, and then we have this little storage here. So, um, really good. And let me tell you some more great things about a minivan, particularly for a woman of a particular age. So we have these handles. Let me tell you guys, all these little handles are all in the right place to help the D, okay? Because she needs it. So they're all in the right place to help me out. So I'm going to tell you what that is and what's in there, but let's go around the back. All right. This is Chris from the back. So let, let me tell you what I've done. I actually bought this little dresser from Ikea. It was like 37, 39 bucks. And I put it together. And what I've done is I've actually connected it to the bed. And I'll show you a picture of that where I've connected it to the bed frame with some L brackets, right? Because I wanted a headboard. The first time I went out in Chris, I actually had this dresser over to the side. But then I didn't have a headboard. And I don't know if you guys ever dealt with like this, like when your pillow keeps falling in the middle of the night from the back of your head because there's nothing to rest on. It, it's just irritating, right? So I thought, well, two things could happen with me putting this dresser in the back one I could create myself a headboard and two I can freely open all three drawers because before I could just pull them out the little one out the bottom one out just a little bit of course the middle one a little bit more and the top one all the way out right but now check it out got my clothes I keep my sleep clothes up here because yeah, it's probably, if I'm going to reach for anything in the middle of the night, it's probably going to be that. But it's just me having to do my due diligence and whatever outfit I plan to put on the next day, I just need to take it out before I go to bed and set it up, set it up here. That's it. So, that's on me. You know, I got my, um, my pants, jeans right there. And here I got my sweaters and tops and stuff. And um, my girly stuff, I just put in a um, a packing cube and I put it under the bed right here at the back so that it's close to me, right? This is my refrigerator. It's an air glue car refrigerator. I think it's like a 48 quart, quart refrigerator. And I'm going to open this so you can see it. not much in there right now just I'm spriting some eggs gotta I gotta go grocery shopping okay okay well there's that and uh, it's a 12 volt um, igloo car refrigerator and so I plug it in and I run the card all the way over to the down the back of the bed over to the side up to the power supply and I'll just show you that in a second Let's look at the power supply. All right, so underneath my igloo is this is which is where I keep my dry foods. And if I have to, when I'm driving, um, put the cooler on the floor, then I do just to make sure it doesn't tip over. But let's show you where I keep those dry foods. So this is my bucket, um, I keep my water over here in this corner 
and I also have my little it's actually a waste bin but I this is what I use to bathe when I want to wash off in the van I use that and usually I'll bring about two gallons of water with me when I'm out um, and that's usually enough I, I'm never too far away from a city that I can't go and get some water if I need it so so that's usually enough I had gotten like two of the six gallon um, water containers I sent those back to Amazon because I'm like I don't need them I don't have a kitchen sink or anything so yeah no need for all that and this is my setup in the back so the cab is just a regular cab right nothing nothing too fancy just a regular cab I do keep my shoes my extra shoes um, on the floor in the front so yeah I've got my track shoes and my boots because I, I live in Texas okay and um and then you know I have my little Lysol just stored it away right there let me tell y'all something about Chris that you that you that you don't know but you're gonna find out today so when I when I got Chris yeah I had to have a vision because um Chris Chris had been through some things. Um, and her carpet, oh my God, was horrific. It was it was horrific. It was so bad that I knew cleaning it wasn't wasn't gonna be enough, right? So I I had to make the choice whether or not I was going to get new carpet put in Chris and it was a tough choice especially after I started pricing it but luckily I found the right person and he did a great job and he worked out me a bargain replacing the entire carpet in Chris but not only is the carpet replaced um, I also replaced the headliner so Chris has a new carpet and new headliner because yeah I wasn't gonna be able to stay in Chris looking the way she was looking and just the germs of it all okay we in COVID season okay but um it worked out so what I've done what I've done with Chris um even after her new carpet because I, I wanna you know I don't wanna mess it up because I, I just paid for new carpet but what I did was um, to help keep some of the air in. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna have to get low, 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 low. I actually put a foam board down, uh, insulation foam board, foam, foam board down, and then instead of plywood, I just put this little board down, and I got some really cheap carpet. You know auto carpet in outdoor carpet well you ever want to call it from home depot and i just spray glued it to the board right and then of course i put like a rug on top of that so that i can protect her carpet because yeah and um it makes me feel better because it's cleaner and um, I don't feel like I'm dealing with somebody else's germs and definitely nobody else's COVID germs because uh, Yeah, that's not cool All right, so this is the driver's side of the van And I like to hang if I bring an extra jacket or a sweater or my vest I like to hang them on this side because I don't want them to obstruct my view on the other side because if I'm changing lanes or something I might look through that window over there which you know it's not in there right now it's open but so that it doesn't obstruct my view I keep it over here and it's just not in my way right so we'll, we'll, well they'll lay on the bed for now um, over on this side on the ledge, I have my Mr. Buddy heater. 
um, which runs off propane um, and I haven't used it yet it's freezing right now um, but it was snowing when I went to get it but I haven't used it um, I've just been at the um, closer to home and haven't needed it this is my ceramic heater and whenever I'm plugged in I plug in this ceramic heater and look this little joker it does well okay well um, so when I when I actually use my Mr. Buddy, I'm gonna make a video and then let you know how that works. Out. And this is my power supply. Um, this is a Rock Pal um, 350 uh, pure sine wave uh, lithium battery, and it has the it has the AC output. It has several USB outputs including a C type and of course it has the 12 volt DC output and yeah this is what I used um, when I ran the monitor at home just to test it and it, to see how much power it would use and so usually when this thing is on let me turn it on it has like five um, bars so I calculated each bar is about 70 watts so in about three and a half hours that monitor had used one bar so that's why I'm guessing it's about 20 to 21 watts per hour I was amazed by that but I wanted to test that out at home before I got out here um, in these streets okay um, and right here is where um, if I want to plug in a 12 volt um, to recharge it I can if I want to plug in the AC here I, um, I can because it has a block um, and then of course if I'm going to do solar then I plug it in here but what I usually do is when I'm driving right here is a output right from the van so I just plug it in there and let it charge if it's all the way charged then I just charge the refrigerator from the van if we're moving right and so I ran the wires I don't know if you can see I might need my lantern um wait because the rock port comes with a light ha 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 how about that mm-hmm she fancy yes um so i ran my um i got three three cards coming here this is for i have what they call a car electric blanket it's 12 volts it's more like the size of a throw but i have that and what i what i did is when i made the bed i actually put it underneath the fitted sheet so I don't have to deal with it all the time that way I'll actually be laying on it and just trap the heat in uh, this is my surge protector and it's it's led underneath the bed over to where the monitor is so that I could just plug the monitor but I would do is plug this into my battery and this is my refrigerator plug um, that I led from the refrigerator around the back of the bed and then down and so like I said I can plug it into the car if I want to to the van or I can plug it um, into my battery yeah
here's my great thing about Chris. She's an all-wheel drive. That's right, baby. All four wheels. She ready. Whatever kind of terrain we're going to find ourselves in, she is ready. Thanks for watching. For more content, subscribe. And don't forget to like and comment.